Hey Book Dragons, welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about my goals for what I want to read in January of 2022. Let's get to it. So I'm really excited about all the books I'm going to read in January. I feel like 2022 is going to be a fantastic year, and I, I can't wait to get started with it. I, I just feel it in my bones that it's going to be a good year. So I'm starting off January with Reincarnation Blues by Michael Poor. Uh, this is a book that I've heard quite a few good things about. This was specifically recommended to me by a Barnes & Noble employee. And it's the same Barnes & Noble employee that recommended another book to me called Meddling Kids, which I absolutely adored. So I figure she can't be far off the mark. I'm going to try this one. And Allie Rizdell, uh, and her channel is Allie Rizdell as well, she is going to be buddy reading this with me in January. So I'm extremely excited about that. And... Uh, you know, Allie's become a good friend, and, and I can't wait to do this buddy read. So another book that I'm going to buddy read in January is Cloud Atlas. And this is kind of different for me. I, I'm not quite sure what to expect from the book. I have seen the movie, and the movie is brilliant. It, just one of my favorite movies that I've seen. It, it's a long one. It's like three hours long it's but it's well worth sitting through it because it's just a fantastic movie uh, and Tom Hanks is in it I'll watch pretty much anything with Tom Hanks but it is based on the book and uh, I had noticed that Baron was interested in reading Cloud Atlas and I'm like hey I am too I've been wanting to read it let's buddy read it together so um he and I are going to, to buddy read that book in January as well. And then I'm also jumping on a read-along with Baron uh, on his Discord for the Malazan Book of the Fallen. And I'm really, really excited about that. I've been wanting to get back to Malazan. In fact, I've been wanting to restart Malazan. I only read the first book, Gardens of the Moon, and that was... Gosh, that's probably five or six years ago that I did that, and I don't remember anything about it. So I'm really looking forward to doing this buddy read with Baron and hopefully continuing on in the Malazan world. We shall see. If I like it well enough, I am going to continue. Uh, this will be the test. <laughs> uh, and then I'm also going to be reading Serpent Mage. It is book four in The Deathgate Cycle by Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman. Uh, I've been slowly reading through this series, and, and it's not one of those series that you have to keep consistent with it and read every book as soon as you finish the, the previous one. It's one of those that it's fairly easy to remember all the beats of the story and what happened in the previous one, and to get into a new story without without a whole lot of recapping. Uh, and that's one of the things I love about this series, but it is just phenomenal. The magic system is great. I can't wait to continue reading in this series. And then another series that I am so excited to continue is The Dark Tower. I'm going to be reading book five of The Dark Tower in January, which is called The Wolves of the Kala. And this has just been a phenomenal series for me. I just love every second of the time that I spend in the Dark Tower world. And I, I've been trying to, to, to be good and, and, and read other recommended books that fit within the Dark Tower universe, uh, in, in the multiverse, rather. And uh, so, you know, I, I, I read Salem's Lot uh, back in... November and really loved that and it's supposedly uh, a, has a fairly large cameo in Wolves of the Kala so 
I'm really excited to experience that, and I'm, I'm hoping to finish the Dark Tower series in the new year. So um, I'm going to be reading Wolves of the Kala in January. And then finally, I am going to be continuing my read of Fire and Blood by George R. R. Martin. Uh, this is the, the, the history book for uh, the prehistory of Westeros uh, for Game of Thrones, the Song of Ice and Fire series. And I already, I did start it. I, I read the first section in the book and I was just blown away. If there's anybody that can write a history book and keep it engaging, it's George R. R. Martin. I'm just, I'm so happy I've started the book and I'm looking forward to continuing that in January. I'm thinking I'm probably gonna take January and February to finish it. Uh, depends on how quickly I find that I'm reading it, but uh, my my plan is to just continue reading it in January, not necessarily finish it. So those are my goals for January of 2022. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to get your thoughts. Have you read some of these books? What were your thoughts on them? Uh, can you give me some tips or pointers for reading any of them? If you have not read them, what do you think? Are you excited to experience them now? Uh, let me know in the comments, as always. Let me know what you're reading in January to kick off the new year. I'd love to find that out. And I just want to take this opportunity to wish you a very happy new year from the bottom of Chaz's heart. I hope you have an amazing kickoff to the new year. Until next time, guys, make sure you're reading more books. We'll talk soon.